This is Australovenator, a megaraptor that existed over 95 million years ago. Australovenator was a bipedal carnivore that used its long, powerful clawed forelimbs to catch and hunt prey. All right, guys, this is Australovenator. This guy has been in development for a very long time, so I was super surprised to see them just drop it out of the blue like this, but let's go through it right quick. This is the male default skin right here. Our next one is featherless. It's basically a lot smoother. You can see there's no more feathers here along the tail and the back of the elbow and the top of the head here. Then we have stocky, which the feathers come back. You can see them back here now. And it's just a little bit thicker here in the stomach, legs, and chest area. The throat too. After that, we have slim, still has feathers, pretty much the same as the original default subspecies but just slightly smaller here and in the legs especially and the arms a little bit next one has more feathers which they're just really a little bit longer they're still in the same spot but you can see there's a bit more on the tail our next one seems to be based off another raptor it's really just a bit more square here in the head or more rectangular in the head here and there's a much smoother spine right there other than that not too much different though then we have my Yeep base, which is really cool because we already have that uh, Mega Raptor in the game already. So this one has a much more narrow rectangular head instead of as boxy as the other one was. The tail is also thinner and only has feathers at the end here. Battle damaged. Let me see what difference here. Oh, whoa, look at that. It is missing claws right here. I don't know if that makes it easier. This is probably better angle for you right here, but it was mostly missing claws on this hand here. And then the thing is a little bit more oval than square on the snoot. Don't know. Maybe it's missing some teeth. And then back to our default here. Let's check out the female skin right quick it's much more yellowy brown here than like the males which was extremely dark but it still looks pretty good i'm okay with it as it is let's go through the calls right quick first up we have broadcast <laughs> it does very much similar to the my Eeps laugh which i like a lot it's very good two call <laughs> That's like a more toned down laugh. Like, oh, hey, I'm not a threat. I won't point my claws at you. Threaten. <laughs> Ooh, that was cool. A jump, tail up, claws out, mouth open, and a sound. Whoa, impressed. Definitely one of my more favorite threatened claws because you could do a whole lot more than just open the mouth and scream a very scary sound. Four call. <laughs> Ooh, there's a slight hag wiggle and it's a little bit of a like a strained giggle if that makes sense talk oh it's like a little purr there shake your pretty standard wiggle stretch there you go claws up and scratch oh or not. I don't know what that was. He was stanced up. I don't know why, but all the mods lately are just like posted up. They are ready to box. <laughs> Look around. Ooh, wow. He's got a long, long neck here. Like both the tail and the neck is very long. And then our invite is the same as our two call. All right, here is the baby model. It is super cute. Look at the claws down here. They're just like little pinpricks right now. They're gonna grow up to be super wicked, but I love the color for this. You got a little bit of orange on the head and then the rest of the body is green with some white stripes. It's very, very cute. I love this model so much. Probably gonna be one of my favorite baby models for sure. All right, let's go through the calls right quick. First, we have broadcast. <laughs> yep, we got that giggle laugh with a slight squeak to it. Two call. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> ah, I don't know what to say. I feel like that sounds like one of those video game noises. I don't know what it is. Ben? Ooh, it looks really good on the baby too. He's got so much attitude. Two call. <laughs> Mm, I don't know why, but it looks less scared on the baby than it does on the adult. But it, it does still have that strained pitch to it. Talk. Ooh. Uh, sounds kind of like city party. Shake. Yeah, your standard wiggle. Stretch. 
with the tail up stretch your neck your arms very good and then what i thought was scratch but is mystery number one our stance up <laughs> then our look around Ooh. okay we're gonna do our baby animations right quick here's our walk oh it's basically a run already probably because you need the baby to be fast but it looks good like the legs are working very smoothly i like the animation a lot then our actual run we are so fast oh my god Ooh, the adult must be super fast very speedy it looks really good our turn radius for it is impeccable see if we have a jump our baby does have a jump it's pretty decent see if we can sit all right pretty standard tail out arms underneath kind of cuddled up sleep oh we lay all the way on the side i think my eep does that as well it's really good get up it's very quick so people trying to kill you and sitting down are gonna have a hard time all right here's our adult model it is still just as small and agile i mean it's much bigger than the baby but it's still very 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 built for speed you know but those claws definitely grew out you can see here they're nice and curved very wicked the tail still has its feathers and the brown comes out really nicely all right let's go through our adult animations right quick here's our walk oh the gosh the walk animation is so very smooth i like it so much is it from the back he's got a very slight waddle to him like they should from the side it looks really really good yeah i love this animation the walk animation is very good here's our run there we go he takes nice long strides he's holding his claws up Ooh, this guy's gonna be so much fun to play. He's pretty fast, even though it doesn't seem like it because his legs aren't moving as fast, but he's taking really long strides. See if we still have a jump. We do. Probably because he's so much smaller than like my Eep. All right, let's sit. There he is, tail out, arms still tucked underneath and sleep. You roll over, his head kind of sinks a little bit like the front part into the ground but other than that it looks really cute but oh my gosh can you see the model definition here the legs and the tail right there look so good and we're getting up let's check our crouch we keep our hands up i feel like this got to be tiring after a while though crouch walk Ooh, yeah looks very good he curls up his hands a little bit like the last two um uh, digits of course the crouch doesn't have the greatest turn radius but that's fine you don't really need it but this is spooky <laughs> he's just smiling as he comes crouching towards you too let's check our precise movements this is our turn and place speed it's decent it's not the fastest but it's pretty decent i think that's pretty good for a mega raptor see our back nice and smooth yeah i like the speed of this i feel like it's appropriate left that wide strafe right very wide strafe right here's our drinking animation Ooh, i love how it crosses its arms underneath its chest kind of just to keep it out of the water while it sips a bit and it takes a few sips kind of looks around or at least pauses maybe to listen here's our swim animation it's slow for sure he's using his fingers in his claws but the claws are not very helpful for swimming it is extremely extremely slow Let's see our speed swim oh our speed swim is a lot more decent probably because it's mostly using the back legs now but yeah definitely don't slow swim <laughs> all right here's our disturbed burrow animation He's actually using the claws to dig. I feel like in real life that might like damage the claws or something like that. And here's our eating animation right quick. Ooh, okay, yep. Oh, wow. And the, the blood animation, Jesus Christ. It just sprays everywhere. 
all in the claws and the teeth. All right, we're gonna go through these skins right quick. This is the male default skin. Next up, we have Jakana, Ruby Throat, Outback, Finch, Zebra, Cassowary, Chestnut, Edge, Red Footed, Jaguar, Blue Flank, Charcoal, Silver Line, Albino, Melanistic, and that's about it. I like these a lot. These are really good for the most part. I wouldn't say they're better than the Pseudoceratopsis, but um, I like these a lot and they're not bad at all. Some of them kind of remind me of you Tyrannus skins that I've seen before, but you know, definitely really good. Abilities. Let's see, this is kind of like the extra senses. Yeah, they're balanced. Increases attack by 5% and decreases defense by 10%. Increases armor by 10 and decreases stamina by 10. Increases stamina by 10, but decreases speed by five. Mm, we'll see if that's worth it. We have one head slot. We just have bites which causes medium damage. For our senses, we have fresh blood increases attack by 10% within 15 meters of a bleeding creature. And then we have a night bleeder gain increased 15% bleed damage and 10% attack damage during the night. It really wants you to be kind of like a surprise ambush nocturnal carnivore here. We have two front limb slots. Ooh, that's quite a lot. Oh, you have claw attack, a claw attack that causes bleed okay tendon ripper an attack which drains stamina from your target okay grab grab and hold onto enemies for as long as your stamina allows can move and drag them around interesting but it's really cool i'm actually kind of surprised i'm sure it doesn't work on like bigger targets though dual slash a strong and delayed claw attack which deals heavy bleed and then claw barrage similar to you know suko where you a quick attack that increases in power with each hit these are really really good you got quite a lot of options here. For our metabolism, we have hyper carnivore, only able to eat meat, food drains much slower. Survivalist, able to eat meat, insects, roots, and bones, greatly reduces hunger and water drain, interesting. And then scavenger can eat meat, carrion and bones, fast food and water drain. For hide, we have dense feathers, increases bleed healing by 40%. So this should be pretty good if you wanna fight other things like Maeep or concavenator or other things that heavily rely on bleed. So maybe Kentro, then dig in, take 40% less knockback and 50% less bone break damage. I don't think I wanna get caught by anything that does a lot of knockback or bone break damage just because of how small we are. I don't think our health pool is gonna be that great. So I probably wouldn't use this for myself but you can use it for sure. Legs, we have traction increases turning speed by 20%, decreases stamina recovery by 30%. Long distance runner reduces running stamina by 15%. Leap increases jump height and decreases fall damage probably by the standard 25%, but we don't know for sure. Back limb, we have ripping kick, lunges forward dealing medium bleed damage. Interesting, so it really is kind of like concavenator now or I guess Serato as well. And then our voice, we have three options. Swarm increases the attack of all Mega Raptors in your group in a 30 meter radius by 8%, able to stack up to 10 times, Jesus. That's an 80% damage increase. A second wind, a rush of adrenaline, quickly regenerate health and stamina and feel ready to fight again. Cannot be used in combat, so you gotta get out of combat first and then re-attack, which is kind of hard when you're kind of tied to the rest of your group's combat timer. Incite the pack. Rally all Mega Raptorans within your group and greatly increase their bleed and damage. Cannot be used while moving and in combat. That's kind of odd. Cannot be used while moving and in combat. So before attacking, probably. I'm assuming that's the only way you will be able to use that. There's also one more ability that is currently disabled that I can't show you because it's not here but if they decide to bring it back then definitely look out for that one i'm sorry i wasn't able to show it to you guys all right let's go through all the ability animations right quick first up we have bite oh that was a little awkward i don't know why but i think the coming up part just feels unnaturally quick or snappy i don't know but it is a pretty fast bite. It doesn't go all the way down, so definitely need to use your claws more for shorter enemies. Next, we have claw attack. Okay, it's a side swipe instead of like a straight up down. And it seems to be pretty fast, yeah. Barely any cooldown. After that, we have tendon ripper, which is a huge like up swing and that's supposed to take like stamina. I'm pretty sure it has like a long cooldown. One more time, tendon ripper. Yeah, it's a big upward swipe. Then we have grab. It's a big kind of slow. Gives you a chance to really get out of the way. I would call that a stab though. <laughs> That's more like a spiky hug. Definitely not something I want to be hit with, but it's only a grab, so I wouldn't worry about it too, too much. Next we have dual slash. 
Interesting. It doesn't feel very dual slash. One more time, dual slash. Hmm, I don't know. We'll see how much damage it does. After that, we have Claw Barrage. Ooh, I like that. One, two, three. It's just like a left, right, and then downwards claw sight. So that's very aggressive. I think I'll probably be using that. Then we have our ripping kick here. Ooh, yeah, it is basically a drop kick. You don't seem to use your front claws at all with that. More times. Yeah, and it throws you forward a bit. Next, we have our voice call. First up is swarm. Ooh, that's aggressive. I like that. And that's gonna be stacked up to eight times, my guys. All right, and here is second wind. <laughs> This is supposed to increase your health and you can see my stamina is going up right there down at the bottom. You got 20 seconds of this. So this is really, really good when you're out of combat because you can't use it when you're in combat. But also if you're in a group, they might be keeping you in combat as well. So definitely make sure everybody backs off before you use that. Otherwise, it's pretty decent. Lastly, we have incite the pack. You have to be in a group to use it. And this ability basically gives you a buff right before you go into combat. You can't use it in the middle of combat. So you guys can really, really need to plan out your attack beforehand if you want the buff. Otherwise it is super useful for getting you guys all bloodthirsty and aggressive. And that is about it for Australavenator here. My opinion is it's a really good mid-sized carnivore. It's got plenty of stamina and you can even increase that more with other abilities it's fairly fast the animations are really smooth it looks good i'm not sure how much health it has but it has the damage to really be a problem and it's got plenty of buffs that you want to use to help you guys succeed in your fights and your hunts so definitely play this guy because he's going to be very very useful in almost any situation